Excellent from Grace. Lovely birdie. Great start for the 21 year old. She was hitting them really solid too, which is impressive when you're struggling with a back injury. And this sounds good. It's right at the flag. Well, it looks good. It's very good. It's very, very good. It's going to be a birdie. Okay. It was nearly a one. Back at the third. Danielle Kang just tapped in for her birdie. What a shot there. Well, that was textbook. And she's looking at a 25 yard bunker shot. Hit it really nicely. Will it trickle towards the flag? I don't know how it didn't. It just stood straight up when it landed on the green. That is that is wild. And Kang's just missed these putts barely low. Needed it. Really needed something like that to go. How they manage the course. <laughs> Looks like par saves feet off of each other. A couple of positive putts here at the 14th. Par five next up. Chance to add a circle. Grace only birdie coming at the first. And now Kim Kang has learned has a good idea of now the speed of this chip. Oh, this looks really good here. Really good, Danielle Kang. A birdie at the 17. Finally conquers this brutal par four. To combat for any overdraw that she may face on this shot. And this is drawing towards the hole. Oh, to yeah. sit there. Great one there for Danielle Kang. Chance to finish birdie birdie on this difficult stretch. And that a bit washy off the blade. Still a part of close, still a great finish. For our injured superstar, Danielle Kang. A couple over on a round. AIG Women's Open winner back in 2018, Georgia Hall, eighth. Yeah. She has a win in the U.S. as well. Well, good morning, and we're looking at Carlotta Saganda. Has this for a birdie, could do with it. Has two bogeys on her round already today. Oh, perfect speed there for Carlotta. Lydia Ko, one of those players trying to make a move up the leaderboard on this Saturday for birdie at three. And worth noting, because of the low scores, players can make a move. Uh, we've seen 264 so far this tournament, so a player like Lydia Ko, who's quite a bit out of touch with the lead right now. We're down at the ninth. We've already seen one birdie here today from Carlotta Sikander. Can I.K. Kim go ahead and follow suit? Terry McNamara, Canadian for her. Yes, she can. I'll move her back to even par. It'll help her score out quite significantly. Started the day at one over. On the fifth, can she convert for her birdie? An aggressive stroke. Oh, yes. yes. It's fifth hole. It's uh, playing a little bit easier today. Ranked 11th. And Bailey Shoemaker, the 17-year-old from Florida, amateur, verbally committed to play her college golf at USC in the fall of 23. Great performance here so far this week. And, hey. oh yes, perfect speed there, Paige, and just really well judged from the front of that green. Excellent. We talked about that finish on a freezing Monday in Houston, mid-December. Alim Kim, 16th hole is where that rally began. And she had not made a cut in a major since then. So for her, just to get to a weekend at a big event. Lizette Salas at the third. Yeah. 
she has put herself in position at major championships in recent years. Second shot for Lexi Thompson at the par five first. That's tracking at that left corner of the green. Think about yesterday. She opted to lay up on the par five. Correct. She does a lot of things to get rid of the use of her hand. She's got the claw grip. Now you can see the scapulas tightening so that her stroke comes from that mid-back region. And what a start for her today. This is Nasa Hataoka for Eagle at the 15th. She outlasted Jin Young Ko a month ago at Wilshire Country Club in Los Angeles. He played at the match play in Vegas last week. This young Southern Californian, Andrea Lee, finished fourth, made it all the way to the semifinals with a lot of shots like that. At the par 313th, this is I.K. Kim. Didn't look like she liked it. <laughs> Body language can be deceiving. This on a good line if it gets there. Because the wind is hurting. Aggressive line. Is it ever? There's the young 23-year-old from Southern California, Andrea Lee. Coming off a fourth-place finish at the match play last week in Vegas. Continuing that role. Has to play pretty hard putt here. It's uphill. Just coming off a bogey at the fourth. Taken in the side right door there. And just carrying that extra bit of speed didn't allow it to move to the right. She spends a good hour to two hours when she's home on this part of her game. Mm. This is her 16th consecutive U.S. Women's Open. Yeah, no one in recent years probably has done it much better. Three top five finishes in her last four starts in U.S. Opens. Andrea Lee in a tie for seventh. <laughs> Manages it beautifully, and that will be... Get to within three of the lead. Drew Ernst is on her back. 132 is very much a go number for Nelly. It's adjusted for the elevation change. It's quite a bit uphill. Yeah. She knows it too. She... Still just one. Cheyenne Knight had that birdie. Would she feel it not having played in four months as the week goes on, or might she be gain, gaining some strength? Well, the story was if you went to go play the match play in Vegas the week before the U.S. Women's Open, you'd be worn out. She's rolled some nice putts today. And another one. Already the first couple made a really nice long putt on number five. At the 13th, Frida Schenholt. Yeah. One player getting her start on the LPGA Tour. Now at 65 yards, I don't anticipate Jin Young Ko is going to be aiming too far away from this whole location. Carrying it well into the green past the hole, looking for some spin. Yeah. Tough to get it from that close, but a pretty good shot would be a very fast putt. Players with the best putting have been the ones at the top of the leaderboard. 
Nelly Corder for her birdie at the fair. Yeah. Yeah. Talking yeah. about good putting, Paige. <laughs> well, and, and I only bring it up because it's not typical. Typically, U.S. Open separates based on ball striking. Uh, obviously, you're not, never going to win without. They shouldn't move too much, though. saved by Lee on the fifth. That was big, George. I, th I think that shows how comfortable she is. English woman, Bronte Law. She played at UCLA. Superstar there and a winner on the LPGA Tour. Feisty. Yes. At the tenth, Lydia Ko, six back. Lots of room around this whole location to give it a go. Contact. It sounded a little heavy, but I think that was just my ears. That was a great shot. And leave her a nice look and leave, too. This is Megan Kang at the third. And she has been trending seventh season on the LPGA Tour, still just 24 years old. If things Very get nice. if things get tougher, would that help Lydia? Given 100%. her percent Just playing from that native area. Looks like a little puff of sand there, so not too bad. Oh, what a shot! Oh, she was going to walk off. That's just a couple of feet left for birdie there. On the last par four, there is that ridge on the opposite side that might affect it a little bit. Tough miss for She's Porter. just playing these a little too far outside the hole, burning the edges on this past two putts she's missed. Two putt par for Andrea Lee. To remain at six under, Nelly drops a shot. Limblad. Just off the green. Perfect lie. Great touch there. She's been very solid across the board with the short game. For a long time, she doesn't like to pitch the ball. She'll use a putter whenever possible. And her possible is a lot more than most. Yeah, she's been 80% this week in getting up and down from off the green. But watch out. Watch out. This side of the green just slopes off, and that is going to be a problem. She may be putting from the pine straw. You'd be flappable if, if you had that happen. What just did to Anna Nordquist and again the putter, her fifth shot. We don't see it. There it is. Mm, goodness. It's one you don't have to make up later. There you go. Jin Young Ko saving par at the second. She's even par for her day. She'll stay at six under par and in sixth place. Been rock solid from inside 10 feet this week. And no need to expect anything different there with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nelly Corda at the seventh. Just a nightmare of a start. Players can be aggressive with this whole location. She is. And that may be just part of her DNA. To five. And we're going to look at Bronte Law using a four on this hole. Yeah. Oh, what a shot. Leaving herself below the hole as well. Nellie Corda for birdie at seven. <laughs> Got to be impressed, don't you? Yes, uh, you, you've mentioned it. Four months off out of competition due to the, the blood clot and her recovery.
She loves that putter. It actually belongs to her fiance and caddy, Travis Kreider. It was his, and she took it out of his bag. Lynn Blad for a kick in birdie at three. Played with Annika the first two days and with number one in the world, Jin Young Ko, today. And Lexi Thompson. She got to within four of the leaders early. To four, and Lindblad won back. After a heck of a drive, only 122 yards remaining, which will help because she can launch it up in the, up in the air. Like that? Well, it's such an advantage. She, in her, she already hits it high. You saw the apex, 107 feet in the air. Wow. She tied the lead. And the rest of the field is trying to hold that tiger, the LSU star. And Jin Young Ko on the tee using her hybrid. Hopefully this one's going to draw back because that started out to the right. Oh, it has. What a shot. And John was asking if we'd seen anyone close today. That's the closest I've seen. Get a good first hop. Yeah, that was just a soft swing there. Well played. I judged that hit and release pretty well. No, and different from the last time she had to take time off for injury to come back as well. Mm, never enough. Yeah, last time she came back, missed the cut at the US Women's Open last year. She caught that too good. Just see how much spin she was able to generate there. Just knows this will potentially release out. She went left hand low last summer, and it really transformed her putting. Five. And to save her par after that chip came up short, Lynn Blad. And that's going to be a bogey for her. It was a great start for Lexi Thompson. Back-to-back -back birdies to open, but she gave them both back. And here she is with a third at the par 5, 10th. Tied for 14th where she began the day. And a beauty there. The leader on tour in greens and regulation. She's an LPGA rookie like Karen Stupples from Florida State. Amanda Doherty. Maybe. Oh. They were asking for it. But it was it was moments like that where it was a shaky putt or a wedge shot or something that you know. Good opening nine for Nelly Corda, two under. Here's her third at the par five tenth. Will she need a fourth? Barely. And this is going to be a birdie for Nellie Corda. We think about where she was one year ago. She missed the cut at the U.S. Women's Open. But after that, she won three LPGA events, including her first major. I hit that way too hard. Okay. Come back. Safely in now. Other winners of that California Am, by the way, U.S. Open winners. It's just where she's aimed. That had the draw. Maybe too much. No. Wow. Oh. What a shot. How about that? Even though she's 45 feet away, she's directly under the hole. Should be fairly straightforward to two putt this. Oh, unless you really misjudge the speed can think about hitting this at the back of the cup oh, and she'll fall out of tie for the lead the putter grip level and not letting it rise up that's pretty cool
Double digits under par for Mina Haragai. A little sneak preview of what we might see at 15. Lydia Ko made, or rather Jin Young Ko made eagle here yesterday. Hannah Green for a three. Par three, moment ago, Lydia Ko at four under. The location here, located on the back of the green, but anything beyond this whole location will slope away, so I'll expect most players to err on the side of caution here, but beautiful shot there from Lydia. Excellent. Going with a nine iron here, tricky hole location, just over a false front. Oh, she gets a nice bounce forward. Could have easily rolled back off the front of the green. A few clouds roll in, but mostly sunny. Temperature in the 80s. Minji Lee, this for birdie at six. Moment ago, got one back that she gave away. <laughs> Love to leave yourself that at the U.S. Women's Open all day long here. Just to tap in. Mm. That's really one of the first miscues we've seen her make with the putter. A few other things in her game and has gotten to this point now. Drops a shot there though. Got a solid strike on that. <clears throat> oh, I guess. needs to stay down with this. If she wants to hold this, Mina's ball might be in her way. Looks like she tugged it a little bit. She did. Still with a chance, though. Pretty much encapsulates her game That's so how far. Annika described her, too, playing with her the first two days. Lydia Ko, second on the way at 18. Her front left hole location today. Oh, terrific. Kind of with this hole location kind of reminds me of the hole location on Sunday. one down this hill borrowed too much but when you get above the hole around this golf course you have to putt defensively As it hasn't been a factor all week Nelly Corda from the bunker Karen yes yeah, she's got a decent line a little bit below her feet and she plays this a bit right at the flank less lip to go over there's a seven iron smart play Having a good season on the LPGA Tour. A lot of people keeping their eye on Hedgen. And that is just the seventh birdie today at the ninth. So she gets it back to four under, but a struggle over the first seven. See you, Lynn, in the fairway with her third. Par 5, 15th. Kind of previewed that hole a short time ago. And what the leaders will face coming down the stretch. Opportunity here. There you go. Quick putt down the hill. Should break a little bit right to left here. Hello. Count it. This is Bronte Law from England trying to stay at four under. Back up the hill. Gonna give it a hit oh, and yeah. does. And <laughs> look at that fist bump. Bronte Law never afraid to show her emotions on the golf. Middle of the green has been a popular play or in line with the flag really good line oh wow she went right at him oh, how about two excellent iron shots in a row and g lee with the pitching wedge here one behind the player that she's playing alongside today mina Haragai. see how aggressive minji gets and that one's a little closer than a few we've seen She's been in good form on the LPGA Tour this year, won a few weeks ago at the Cognizant Founders Cup. Yeah. So back in front, 11 under par. Ellie Corda here at 15 from the bunker again. Yeah, but this one is for Eagle, a little bit of a different position. Yeah. 
got there in two was in that bunk. And what do you think, Karen, seeing Nelly so far this week? I think she's exceeded my expectations and everybody's expectations. And this is just tremendous to come back from what she went through. So that could be a fortunate break come tomorrow afternoon. Okay. A couple of birdie putts there. Yeah, I just think the key here is speed control, which I know she's worked a lot on coming into this week. Speed was good, I'd say. Has yet to make a birdie at the 10th. We'll see. Two birdies in a row for Minji. This would be for three birdies in a row. From 10 feet, 10 inches at the 10. Symmetry didn't work that time. That was a really good putt, Morgan. Yeah, that looked like it had a chance the whole way. Just barely. She's a lot below the hole, but if you go past this hole location, you can end up well over the green with a difficult up and down. Not waste any time on her putts. Mm. Quite a bit left. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a rough miscue there after... Smart play off the tee, just not giving that first putt nearly enough. Every year has been different, but 24 of the last 26 U.S. Women's Open. Win Going with a soft wedge off of a little bit of an uphill lie. Beauty. This is the second shot at 12 for Hedge and Choi. We talked about driving it to the top of that hill. And if you don't quite get it there. Can't see as much. She's going to walk up and, oh, she's going to like what she sees when she gets to the top of that hill. Very challenging. This is a similar spot to where we saw Jin Young Ko putt from just a moment ago in the group ahead. Just has to clip that so nicely, and she did. Maybe, hard to believe, a little too much. But so fast you can see how everything's moving to the front of the green. It's a, it's another one that just makes you sweat a little bit and your heart rate go up. You have to stay relaxed over this putt. So fast. Oh, wow, nothing but the center. And we had the most beautiful view of her putting strokes. Hedge and Choi trying to repair the damage from earlier in the round. This for a birdie at 12. Great approach in here. So... She three putted the seventh hole. Got to make sure you block that out of your mind right here. Working so hard, hard on her putting. Well done. I know it's a bogey, but I think that was a, an important putt. Jin Young Ko trying to do what Lindblad did. Borrowed a lot. He has a similar putt. Yeah, but if you've been away for competition for a little while, it's kind of, you've got to get back into that mode. Well, that's brutal. I mean, Karen, that is just throwing a shot away there. Two, two and two holes. Nine iron for Minji Lee here for her second. See, see if she knocks it all the way back to this flag here, and that is so well judged. She's going to give herself a good look at birdie. Big difference, Tom, coming in with it. A little bit early into the green. Yep. That might have been just enough to keep it from going in, too. Still, still very well done on the speed. That did just take enough off of it that it didn't quite get to the hole. To get it to draw down. Says Left the women's the open champ, by the way. <laughs> Side by side. There we go. Struggling a little bit. This for a par. Yeah, still outside of Minji's birdie putt. Right to left break. Oh, and just right now making too many mistakes. Yeah, that's going to be back-to-back -back bogeys. Meanwhile, Minji is on a tear with the birdies. Uh, she's going to have to remind herself right here, have Travis help her out, say, you know what, we got lots of golf left to play. Put that behind us. For birdie at 12 to get it to where she eventually finishes up at 13 under. So since 2000, 
in this. Nelly Corda at 18. Choking nearly halfway up the club. What a so shot. That is a shot that you don't ever practice. They're making bogey on 16 and 17. Big par putt here to keep her in the mix. It's been the story down the stretch. Yeah, that's just really disappointing. Putting herself in position. And then 18. It's a little bit different than 16 and 17, but a couple of unforced errors there. Not pleased right now when she looks back on the effort this week. Just the fourth bunker she's been in this week and the first today. All in all, a pretty good bunker player on tour. Good play, but we'll be left with another one of those. Second shot at the 17th for Bronte Law. She's a winner on the LPGA and the LET. Go. Tour over in Europe, Come asking on, that one hustle. to go. Yeah, listen, that's going to be just fine. Give her a chance for a birdie. Ball. It's a seven under. Tom, the ball listens to her body language. It listens to her yell at it. Achieve your goals. Kind of stay with that throughout her career. The wind blows a little bit at 15 now. Or yep. 13. That was, again, a good place to miss it. Overall, a pretty straight putt. And she managed that speed fairly well, Morgan, but... Haragai. Huge putt right here, Terry. Yeah, definitely is. Megan Kang's third. Try and chip this one in. Looked like great technique there and landed it in the perfect spot. Wonderful little shot. Starting the back nine, Minji Lee for par. No problem. Chance to get inside the top three. Talk about that $10 million purse. Money just behind first place, and Bronte Law moves up the leaderboard. That is uh, four birdies on the back nine. First player to make four birdies on the back nine today. Gonna have to rely on her wedge game after that missed tee shot. It's usually pretty solid. And there's another beauty. Oh. Well, <laughs> no, that's 22 years old for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. That's just amazing. At a U.S. Women's Open. Morgan, I'm sorry, it'll run all the way off the green. You get past it at all, so look for this to land somewhere on the front edge, and this is heading a hair left as well. Yeah, she's getting almost a little bit on her toes, but that'll be just fine. You can see in her finish, you can usually tell when she's pulled it just a hair. Right at it. How about that shot? She could run off into the bunker, got to be careful. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do in U.S. Opens is compound the mistake. Engine Choi for Eagle at 15. This would be one way to race a rough start pretty quickly. Talk back about Sari Pak winning in 98. That's really the first golf tournament that I really remember watching. I remember her in the 18-hole playoff on the Monday with Jenny Chisiraporn. It was very inspiring. Bronte Law saw the play to here. This to finish up with a birdie. Seven-year-old from England who went to UCLA. Fourth time at the U.S. Women's Open. Three rounds in the 60s. Go, Carrie. Yep. Yeah, she went with the lob wedge hard and got some nice spin on it. Minji Lee. Her ball striking has been so strong. This is the first bunker she's played in today. No matter. I always thought it was hard, Morgan, when you haven't hit a bunker shot in several hours. Wow, the number of 
putt she has made of distance this week, Terry. Some of the best I've ever seen. One over for the round, which is a little surprising. Maybe expecting more from the world number one today, but this to get it back to even par. Oh, it's got a fall from there. Not to be. And this for her first birdie on the back nine. This is a big putt with Minji in there close for birdie. And they're all big putts in a women's open, but momentum is is important. Kim, her third from the bunker. Like that. Tough Saturday, 75, but quite the finish. That makes golf a lot harder when you realize just how much every putt and every shot can mean to your bank account. And this is yeah. a good one. That, well, that was a gorgeous little draw. That is a great one. Great chance. You mentioned Christy Kerr a minute ago, didn't you? On this golf course. Minji Lee at 16 on the way. You have to think with that list of champions, Hall of Famers, and you would think future Hall of Famers as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. To double figures. A little bit above her feet here. Might make the wedge go a touch left, but wow. <laughs> Flair for the dramatic. Oh, I love it. You love to see it. Shows her emotions on her sleeve. So much fun. It's almost like she just sucks us all in with her energy and her enthusiasm. Oh, look at that reaction. A good looking swing. Hoping it's enough to carry, but it's a great line. Oh, and just carries, but then gets that that sort of bounding on bounce and it knocks it into trouble, which we've seen already this week. Okay, but don't forget to study tonight. Disappointing day for her. Yeah, hasn't just been able to put together the round that she needed to get right in contention, but look at this to finish. <laughs> Similar reaction. <laughs> Fun to watch. Textbook shot right what here. Watch crowd. <laughs> and her. Yeah, and her same reaction. Exactly. Coming out lower trajectory, but a good line. And that should scuttle right on up there. Yeah, it does. That's exactly what she wanted to do. And from that position, she's hit 80% of her greens so far this week. Right at it. Why not? Yeah. And a great chance for another birdie. Minji to get it to 14 under par. Moves to the right at the end, as we've seen today. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple that have missed over the last few holes. Had that great chance at 15. Yeah, or she would have had an even bigger lead. Can't believe that didn't go in. Very nice. That was just a soft, rhythmic chipping stroke right there. And what a three-day total. The best that we've seen at the U.S. Women's Open. <laughs> Pretty similar result.
So early in the back nine.